Ancelotti's preseason conundrum. How will Mbappe fit in at Real Madrid? Just in, Real Madrid's defensive target picks up fresh injury. Real Madrid prepare reports on goalkeeping targets amid Lennon's uncertain future. Manchester City superstar addresses future after Carvajal's invitation to join Real Madrid. Ancelotti's preseason conundrum. How will Mbappe fit in at Real Madrid? As the countdown to Real Madrid's preseason ticks away, manager Carlo Ancelotti is grappling with a significant challenge as most of his key players have yet to return, presenting a puzzle that needs solving urgently. It must be noted that last summer while preparing for the 2023-24 season, Ancelotti and staff crafted a new formation to make the most of their attacking talents. They knew they would rely heavily on Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Jr., and Rodrigo, so they designed a 4-4-2 diamond formation that placed Bellingham in a crucial midfield role. This strategy, honed during the preseason and refined throughout the campaign, allowed other players to adapt to a well-defined playing style. There are new challenges now. However, with the preseason just two days away, Ancelotti finds himself needing to rework his plans. The absence of Cruz and the inclusion of Kylian Mbappe present new hurdles, and Ancelotti needs to adjust his tactics to ensure the team functions seamlessly. Oh, according to Mundo Deportivo, one possibility being considered is repositioning Bellingham to a deeper role, where he can orchestrate play alongside Valverde, Eduardo Camavinga, or Aurelian Tuamini. The challenge here lies in maintaining clarity and control of the ball, a trait Cruz excelled at, which will be difficult to replicate without a similar player. Danny Sabalos could step in, but he doesn't command the same status as Cruz or the other key players, and is also expected to leave. What about the forwards? The forward positions also need reevaluation. Vinicius and Rodrigo, although used as forwards last season, are not natural strikers. The same goes for Mbappe, who prefers playing on the left, clashing with Vinicius' preferred position. This creates a conundrum for Ancelotti. How to accommodate the attacking prowess of his players while maintaining defensive solidity? Ancelotti's task is to find a balance that utilizes his players' strengths without compromising the team's structure. The upcoming preseason matches against Milan, Barcelona, and Chelsea will be crucial. These games will offer valuable insights into how Real Madrid should approach the 2024-25 season. The pressure is immense, as always, and there's no room for doubt. Ancelotti's decisions will be under scrutiny from the first official match of the season, the European Super Cup against Atlanta, where success is expected. Just in, Real Madrid's defensive target picks up fresh injury. Real Madrid are in active negotiations with LOSC Lille for the transfer of Lenny Euro. After weeks of impasse, the club appear to have made some ground in the race to sign the Frenchman. However, should the Euro deal fall through in the coming weeks, Real Madrid have identified Lazio's Mario Gila as the ideal alternative. Formerly of RM Castilla, Gila currently plies his trade for Lazio and has emerged as a key defensive linchpin for the Italian outfit, impressing onlookers with his technique and discipline. Mario Gila picks up fresh injury. However, in a major development, it appears Mario Gila has picked up a fresh injury during training, reports Diario AS. In the preseason camp at Aronzo di Cador, Gila appears to have fractured his left foot and could be out for several weeks. Lazio confirmed the defender's injury, stating, Mario Gila underwent clinical and instrumental examinations, which revealed a fracture of the phalanx of the big toe of his left foot, suffered during training. Gila has started taking the appropriate treatment, and the extent of his injury will be known soon. However, as things stand, the defender could be out for at least the next few weeks. What does this mean for Real Madrid? Mario Gila's fresh injury setback is sure to dwindle any hopes of a potential return to Real Madrid this summer. In any case, 
Hila's chances of returning to Santiago Bernabeu were slim given that Real Madrid have finally made some ground in the deal to sign top defensive target Lenny Euro. Los Blancos, though, would have liked having someone like Gila available as an alternative, especially with LOSC Lille still demanding a fortune for the Frenchman. Unfortunately, that might not be an option anymore. No thanks to Gila's injury. The club, though, will keep a close eye on the Spaniard's injury situation, knowing he could return to fitness before the end of the summer break. Real Madrid prepare reports on goalkeeping targets amid Lennon's uncertain future. After a spectacular season for Real Madrid in 2023-24, Andre Lennon understandably feels hard done by returning to a backup role this summer. Thibaut Courtois' supremacy, however, leaves him with no other option at the club. As Lennon revealed in a recent interview, he is looking for regular minutes this season. Considering the situation in Madrid, a departure is not ruled out and Los Blancos are thus working around the clock to keep a backup option ready. Scouting in Progress Real Madrid have been lucky to constantly be served by some of the greatest goalkeepers in recent times. Kaylor Navis, Iker Casillas and Thibaut Courtois have all left their impact on the club's history, and it is clear that pedigree is a key factor as the team enter the market. According to reports from The Athletic, Los Blancos have prepared reports on other goalkeepers for this summer. Whether the club will push for a transfer, however, depends on the approval of the board. Last season, Lennon started 21 La Liga games for the Merengues, overseeing 10 clean sheets in that duration and averaging 2.3 saves per game. Needless to say, Carlo Ancelotti's decision to hand the start in the UCL final to Courtois did not sit well with the Ukrainian international. The club's options. Currently, Kepar Rizabalaga stands as Real Madrid's best place backup plan. The Chelsea star is willing to return to the club and even accept an inferior role if need be. And the deal will depend on Lennon's decision and the economic demands of Chelsea. Should the Spaniard fall out of favor, however, other alternatives might have been identified already with the club preparing reports on several options. The coming weeks will be critical in deciding Lennon's future and the team's goalkeeping situation for the upcoming season. After all, the manager's decisions in preseason will play a big role. Manchester City superstar addresses future after Carvajal's invitation to join Real Madrid. Danny Carvajal's detailed interview earlier this week has taken the Spanish media by storm, especially considering the lavish praise he heaped on Spain's latest hero La Mania Mall. Another big takeaway from the interaction, however, was the defender's open invitation to Rodri to join him at Real Madrid. Carvajal called the midfielder a perfect fit in Carlo Ancelotti's setup and admitted that he persuaded Rodri daily over the same. I tell Rodri every day to sign for Real Madrid. Rodri's response. Speaking to the media earlier today, the Manchester City star gave his two cents on his club's future and a possible return to Spain in the coming years. I try to analyze all the decisions I make to have a criterion and, above all, to go through the processes. I am very, very happy in England, he began, professing his commitment to Pep Guardiola's side. I think I am in one of the best clubs in the world, that is obvious, and I am happy. I have a three-year contract and, when the time comes, I will see, he added. Rodri's next comment, however, raised several eyebrows as he explicitly said that his statement was only with respect to the near future. But I have said it before with regard to the short term. I do not like or it does not make much sense to look at the long term. Spain is my country. Madrid is my city, my home. Finally, the midfield star confessed that he knew he had taken a massive risk, especially from a cultural standpoint, when he moved to England. And well, when I went to Manchester, I remember a conversation I had with my parents in which they asked me if I was sure because I was going to another country, another culture. And in the end, one is happy when one is sure of things. If I return, it would be with conviction, he added, 
hinting that the pieces would fall in line if he felt it necessary.